Right now, I'd like you to welcome to PTL the author of The Cross and the Switchblade, the president of Teen Challenge, Dave Wilkerson. It's so nice to have you with us today to share what God's doing all over this world. I look forward to it. Dave, your new book, Racing Towards Judgment, that's an awesome title. What is it about? That's the follow-up of the book I wrote three years ago called The Vision. Uh, the Vision book is a very controversial book because I was talking about calamities coming to the United States. I, I really saw, I believe, uh, call it Vision, a word from the Lord, two weeks in a row every night, uh, an awesome sense of calamity coming to the nation as a result of its sin, rampant sin. I talked about uh, earthquakes hitting the nations in the world and drought conditions. And uh, When it first came out, uh, I, I lost an awful lot of support, people who thought I should stick to drug addicts. <laughs> and uh, I, I was consequently driven to my Bible. Even some of my very closest, dearest friends thought that I had gone off the deep end. And, but I got a historical view of how God deals with nations who reach what I call flashpoints. When, when, when they reach these certain points of violence, for example, when the nation became violent, God said, I'll destroy it. Every time Jerusalem, Israel, Babylon became violent, God destroyed it. Uh, the prophet Nahum, for example, came to Nineveh. No, Jonah preached and Nineveh repented. A 150-year reprieve was given to Nineveh. And along comes the prophet Nahum, and he said, now God's going to destroy you, and I'm going to give you five reasons. He said, you become an alcoholic society. Mm -hmm. You become drunken. He said, your men have become as women. Your leaders have become as grasshoppers. Now, how can God destroy uh, Nineveh for these five sins and allow us to commit the five <clears throat> same sins rampantly and get away with it? There's no possibility of that. I, I, I warned about the moral landslide three years ago that we'd have X-rated movies on television after midnight and a number of cities now on cable television have X-rated movies. We're going to see the devil glorified on television. We're going to see nudity on primetime television. And it's the prophet Nahum's prophecy coming to pass. And I believe judgment is suspended over America right now. And, and people who try to... I call them the, the prophets of prosperity and the... Uh, uh, you know, those who gloss over it and say everything's going to turn out all right. That's the other extreme. They, they hide their, their faces to all the things that are happening. Uh, these prophets of prosperity who, who, who want to turn it all the way around, all they want to do is talk about uh, the good things with it, it, it totally rejecting that anything bad is happening in America. And in my study of every society, in the past 6,000 years, we've destroyed 20 civilizations. 20 civilizations have come and gone, and every one of them the same patterns. We've never learned from history, and always just before judgment has been a prosperity wave. You said that judgment is suspended over America. What do you mean by that? I believe that he's withholding judgment, and the only reason America hasn't been judged at this point is God calls judgment a bow, and he's stringing the bow tighter waiting. And I hear a sound of a trumpet. I really do. I, I believe God is trying to say to this nation, I'm giving you one last merciful call. I, I think, though, Jim, the American people think the United States is immune to judgment, that we're some special island of prosperity and blessing. We, we see it happen to Japan and Italy and Peru and South America. We see it happen all around us. We think that we're immune, either because we have to evangelize the world or, we, or because we've been good to the Jewish nation, that, that God's going to spare us. But not so. I, I really believe that if we sin as Sodom, we pay the price of Sodom. New York City will go bankrupt. We're going to see financial chaos without repentance, repentance and a total turn to God. We're going to see another recession that made the last one look just like nothing. And it'll be a long-lasting one. God's going, to, uh, God's going to purge this nation by judgment if he has to because righteousness will prevail. What is the answer? What is the key, Lord? What, how are we going to make it through? What, what's going to happen and he turned me to that portion of scripture and he told me that the body was going to take care of itself. He said the place of security is being in the body of Christ, the assembling of ourselves together, not on the outside. It's amazing how many of those little grandmas got chickens in the coop. 
Some of you don't even know what I'm talking about, but someday you will.